Okay, here's how you will interface with your new phones. To check your voicemail, simply hit the mailbox button. Then you're going to arrow down to your name, hit select, and it will dial your voicemail. If you want to transfer someone, once you have a call on the line, you'll do it in the following manner. So I've got my call on the line, I'm going to take the call. So if I want to transfer that person, I can do so by pressing the transfer button then simply dialing the extension I want to send them to and hitting transfer again and they're out of your phone and headed over to the next phone so the other method of transfer what we just did there was called blind transfer the other method is a consultative transfer where you're actually waiting for the person to pick up to tell them who you're about to transfer to them so with an incoming call Let's say we wanted to transfer that call to Julie, but we wanted to make sure Julie knew who was calling them. So we're going to hit transfer. That's going to put the caller on hold. We're going to hit 500. And then we're going to hit this green button to actually call 500. Once we get Julie on the line, we're going to then press transfer. Did you care to pick that up? Just for the train? So Julie picks up the call and we say hey Julie we've got so and so on the line do you want to take that call and she says yes you can press transfer to send it if she says no you can press end to get back to the caller so let's pretend like she said no we're gonna hit end and then we're back on the call with the caller Thank you. we're back on the call with the caller and we can then determine what we're gonna do with them from there so there's your transfers um, some other things you can do is you can go to history and you can view your calls uh, that were incoming, outbound. You have little arrows, so all these calls are inbound. Um, another thing you can do is if you hit OK and then you go to call features, and it's actually going to be more orange icon. That's a little better color. Go to this orange icon. You can go to call forwarding, and you can pick your extension, which will have your name on it. And then you can determine how you want to turn call forwarding on, whether you want to do it always or just on no answer. And then you would arrow over to enable it. The target is the 10 digit phone number. And then the uh, after ring time is how many rings you want your phone to ring before it goes after that target. So that is call forwarding, etc. Now, the final thing is putting a caller on park or bringing a caller off of park. To bring a caller off of park, so let's say someone tells you, hey, park one or park two, if they're on park one, you'll dial star seven one, which is the code to bring them off park, and then you'll dial one for the actual parking lot number. So if they said they were on park one, you'd dial star seven one one. If they were on park two, you'd dial star seven one two to get that person off of park, and then you just hit send. So that's how you pick people up when they are on park. Now, if you're on your cordless and you need to put someone on park, here's how you'll actually put someone on park from your cordless. So I've got a call here. I want to put this call on park. I'm going to hit transfer. I'm going to hit star seven zero. And I need to hit send. And it will tell me which park they're on. And then I'm going to press transfer. So by doing the send, hitting the send button, it tells me which park they're on. So I'm going to hit transfer to finish the transfer. So now that caller is on park one, and they're hearing hold music. Now, from any other phone in the building, you can press the park one button. It will not be lit up on the desk phones, but that person will be there. Or you can dial star 711 to pick that person up. So that's how you put somebody on park and pick them up. And again, when I dialed earlier, star seven zero, um, I had to listen for which park the person was put in, but it'll tell you park one, park two. But that's how you put somebody on park and you take somebody off park. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell.